Not yet. Alright. The secret hideout is closed for the time being. That's okay. I didn't figure. I figured as much. I wanted to, like, see if I could get to the Moogle shop. But it's... They, the kids are asleep, Angel Arts. Come on. Kids are asleep. The Moogle metal. It's okay, kids. We're going to stop Shinra. No more plates are falling. No more people are going to die like that again. That's the house. Not like Marlene! that, at least. Marlene! Here's Aerith's house. And of course, Aerith's mom is going to be like, This is your Where's fault. Marlene? Is she here? <laughs> this isn't our fault. Aerith followed us. It was her choice to follow us. Sorry, I'm buried. Marlene's my little girl. Some guy just broke into our house and he's yeah. demanding. Yeah. Marlene, she's got short hair. She's cute as a button, but with the heart of an angel. She was wearing, uh, pink. She was wearing a she's pink dress today. She's sleeping upstairs. Huh? Oh. I said she's sleeping. So she did make it home. I want to see her too. Barrett, come on. Come on. Let's go God. look in on her. He's, she's okay. <laughs> Keep it down. Don't wake her. Yeah. After, I'm sure this. I'm sure Eris' mom has a lot to say. Um, I after the whole um, scene, the big scene, of course, with the plate falling and all of the the Avalanche members dying, like Jesse Biggs Wedge. I went back and watched it at, at the PS1, and oh man, it's like night and day. Like, I appreciate how much Square was able to um, attempt to convey um, a very emotional part of the story for the resources that they had. And I mean, they did fantastic, considering like the gaming engine that they had back in the day. But like, watching it compared to this one, I'm like, oh, it just shows you how much we've grown and how much like our game, the gaming cinema, cinema has evolved in order to make these works of art just so Maybe you should join your friend upstairs. deep and emotional and Keep really cause you to Don't really care her. about these Maybe characters you should in join this your friend situation. Upstairs. Marlene, no mention of Aerith. That's, that's cool. God. Yeah, that's a relief. As a father, don't believe me. I know. I understand that 100%. Oh, Shinra has my daughter now. I'm sorry. No. I'm the one who asked her to go get Marlene. We'd only just met, but she was so kind and helpful. I took advantage of her. It's not your fault. It was only a matter of time before she ended up back there. It's not Cloud's fault either. Just remember that. Because she's an ancient. Back there. Is that it? So she told you about that. She must trust you all a great deal. No, she didn't tell us. Yes. No, Aerith she didn't actually an tell us, but she Probably might have. the last one living. She's not my daughter. Not by blood, I mean. If that's what you were wondering. Well, not biologically. She's still your daughter. About 15 years ago. My husband, he'd been shipped off to fight on the front lines. But then I received a letter saying he'd be home for a bit. So when the day came, I went to the station to meet him. But... He didn't come. I couldn't help fearing the worst, even then. 
But I told myself his leave must have been postponed, that he'd been delayed. She Every sounds like Eric Spangs. To wait and to pray. And that's so how they I gave her, her false information. Her and her mother. I thought maybe they'd run away from Wall Market, or that they were topsiders oh. fallen on hard times. I'd seen that sort of thing a lot. Take Aerith somewhere safe. Those were her mother's dying words. Wow, I wonder what she died of. My husband had been away for so long, and I was lonely. So I convinced myself the safest place for the girl was with me. It took no time That's at all so nice. for her to start feeling like family. She was a real chatterbox. That's so good. She told me strange Baby stories. Baby Earth is so cute. Like how she and her mother had escaped from some sort of facility. And how she wasn't sad because her mother had just returned to their planet. Their planet, huh? Yeah, that sounds about right. I didn't understand any of it at the time. When I asked if she meant one in the sky, she said no. This one, right here. I mean, what can you say to that? Mm. Mommy, don't be sad. That's what she said to me one day, out of the blue. So I asked her, what's wrong? A man you really, really loved just died. His heart came a long way to say goodbye. But he couldn't oh. stay because he had to return to the planet. Wow. I didn't believe her, of course. Wow. And then, a few days later, I received a letter saying my husband had been killed in action. Wow. This is so powerful. Like that. She just know. Oh my goodness. It was a lot to deal with. Just one feel the happened. feels trade. One after the other. And then came the knock. Coming. And then it's saying No! Go away! <sighs> You know, you're not just any little girl. You're a descendant of the ancients. Ooh, this song. I had no idea what he meant, so I said, who are the ancients? They were the original stewards of the planet, whose boundless knowledge and wisdom shall guide us to the promised land. <clears throat> Some believe the promised land to be a myth, others an allegory of sorts. But we take the words of the scriptures at face value and believe it to be quite real. Which is why Shinra would like very much for Aerith to help You're us- You're wrong! I'm not an ancient! But Aerith, even when you're all alone, don't you hear voices whispering secrets? No, never! <clears throat> but all three of us knew that wasn't true. That man knew exactly who Aerith was, where she'd come from, and what mm -hmm. she could do. They knew where she was, but they didn't just take her? Doesn't sound like the Turks I know. She had to come willingly, otherwise it wouldn't work, they said. Yeah, That's why, all this time. Even if they did take her away, I'm sure she's still being treated like a guest. And that they'll send her straight back home. Once they get what they need. I doubt it. You're not planning anything, are you? What does that Don't mean? Don't make things worse than they already are. 
If I lost her too, I don't know if I could, if I could ever. Just don't. Cloud, maybe she's right about this. Maybe they'll let Aerith go when it's all over. Maybe we'd be better off waiting a little while. Let's head back to Sector 7. Got things to take care of. Yeah, I know why she would say that. Like checking up on the bar. Yeah. Okay. I can totally understand why Tifa said that, because there's still feelings after Sector 7, even though Barrett says it's not their fault, it wasn't Avalanche who killed all those people, there's still like, uh, are we meddling thing, things too much? Are we, even if it wasn't directly our fault, are we still indirectly causing all this turmoil? And is it really the better of two the evils? The to Sector 7 is buried you know, under rubble now. Um, so how are we supposed to get back lot. inside? Underground passage in the park. Ah, uh, good plan. But how do we get to the park? I know another way to get there. Aerith showed me before. <laughs> this ancient girl knows her stuff. Didn't mean anything by it. Right, through the mines. Yeah, this ancient girl. Onward to Sector 7. There was this rumbling. And then all of a sudden... Yeah, I know, kids. So... Yeah, I have a feeling I still can't get my Moogle pendant things, but that's okay. I'm wondering if we can fast travel, like in the end game, checking on friends. All right, all right. Let's head back to Sector Seven. We've got things equipped. We'll get to Leviathan later. Um. Cool. My ears are still ringing from it. I still want a better machine, like, weapon for, for Barrett. We'll get to that. Alright. Over there. Uh, through the mines here. Hopefully we don't run into all those claws again. We don't run into those annoying bandits again. Nice, another Moogle Metal. Perfect. Alright, let's keep moving. Fighting those versus fighting Leviathan is like night and day. Go back, go down. There we go. It's blocked. Duh. There, that way. All we'll right. have to fight our way through. Rush through, through here. But it's, it's our blocked. only shot. Alright. So things in here slightly changed because of the debris. Okay. Hey. 
Okay, so this part is slightly different. Oh gosh. Gorger subspecies larger than their close relatives and armed with blade like front legs. Drawn by the taste of human flesh, they often venture into residential areas. They become stronger sometime after battle starts, but they will return to normal and take a certain amount of damage. I got nice! Oh you got to help Chadley with that ability. See ya. That's a win! Beautiful. Monster Bio Part 4 was complete. Perfect! We'll have to go back to Chad's. Chad's. Um. Think you can stop the pain train? Really really Whatever. Too much? Oh, the pain train, I love it. Okay, let's go. Oh, come on. Finish him off! Taking over. Finish it. Let's do this. Strike hard as hell. Nice. Get the hell, okay? Gotcha. Let's check it up. Here. Nice. Sweet. <laughs> I love it when Barrett does that. Yeah. So satisfying. Terpsicult A. Um, aquatic monsters that prefer dark, moist places that feed in the blood of living creatures. They detect their prey through vibrations and temperature changes. These creatures start spinning when interrupted. While in the state, they can shrug off melee attacks, so use long range attacks instead. Drop them from spinning when they become susceptible. Fleeing? Why are you fleeing from me? Never in doubt. Nice. Magnify materia is improved. How does the magnify materia improve? Expand range of length. Ooh, by 45%. Nice. Beautiful. Here 
change this one out first. Nice. And I'm going to overcharge your Heine. Raise. Rise, my child. This went from 0 to 100 really fast. There we go. Shake it off, okay? Bring back Barrett, please. down focus shot thunder him nice nice match amplify consumption new materia so we got some new intel Uh, master all types of magic materia. Oh, sweet! We're ma mastering materia left and right. Which one else did we master? Barrier, healing, binding, fire, lightning, revival, cleansing, ice, subversion, poison, wind. Oh, wind! Sweet. Poison. Let's pop out wind for right now. You can always add it back in later. Um, steadfast block, ATP stagger, parry, MP up, HP up, chakra, synergy, warding, wind, lightning, ice. We have, somebody has ice, right? Binding, fire, barrier, healing, barrier, fire, binding. Revival, cleansing, ice is right there. Yeah, I was like, so we have we have ice. Somebody's looking at ice. Somebody's leveling up ice. Um, fire healing. Okay. Um, let's give her parry. Uh, hold R1 and press circle to activate. Deals a small amount of damage. Guards against enemies. Uh, as you finish your next move. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can give that a try. Next chance I get. Oh. Another Moogle Metal. Beautiful. Which way? Um, this way? 
Is there anything in this dead end? Nice. Heavy duty bracer. We already got one of those. Oh, we stole one of those, I think. Bandits. Oh, shot. Nice. Good job. Whatever, man. Let's go. You went after the wrong people. Sorry, bud. Whatever, man. Whoa. Who that? Look a shot. I miss Barrett so much. I miss him so much. That's cool. Carry's really cool. Nice. Alright. Let's keep moving, everybody. Bottle of ether. We keep use all the ether we can get. I use up so much ether. During boss fights, especially. You'll need to provide new compass. You again? Oh shit! I mean, you're the only one. Nope. What? Oh my goodness. Take the lead. Yeah. Guess it's my turn. I'm waiting. Uh Champion belt, heck yes. Focus thrust. Nice. That's the way to do it. Nice. That's teamwork. is going down really fast. Gonna have to conserve. Use regular potions for it. Uh, Mako shards? Yes? No? Fine. Orb of gravity? Sure. 